picture I'm not for sale, mate. Are you going to cook something now? Yeah. For you, what, what are you going to make? I make a chicken, like a special sauce, and after I put them in the other. Okay. Like um, a yeah, casserole. Like to this other. Excellent. Yeah. Is it a secret recipe or? This is a chicken bouillon. Okay. You make that yourself? No, oh. this I can buy. You know, okay. Give you, give you more flavor. Okay, okay. It's a stock, stock. Uh, when I have the proper stock, and uh, sometimes I don't use it, but I don't got it now, you know. Okay. Because uh, you cleared everything out. Yeah. yeah Otherwise, I make a proper stock and uh, you go everything. Wow. Well. I put a few bones and uh, beef bones, boil them up, and I make the stock. I make everything myself. But now. Everything good. See, give it your flavor and the color. So you can see the color come up. Okay. <coughs> I started in 19, he called me in the in 19, before, before the war started. And uh, I continued my life. I've just come to capture the moment when you're cooking again, please. If I'm in your way, please tell me. No, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. This was a family business. Family business. And you run it from 1958 onwards. 
So from 1958, this has been in the same family hands. The same family. So 58, 60. I bought the store in 1977. Oh, so this was your first shop, this okay. section. And the next door you bought in 1977. Wow. And you converted it to make it one restaurant. Yes, wow. So this was your kitchen and is, is your kitchen. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Got a big fridge out there. Got one here. Got a washer. Got a fridge in the yard out there. Quite, quite good. How, how, how long have you been here? You, you I come in now in 1958. Oh, okay. 16, 16. And you opened the restaurant? Opened the first one. Okay. After the, after, and, and, uh, and the 70, I opened next door. Okay, how old are you? Do you guess? About 65? I'm 94 next month. Oh my god, I'm 94. I'm in 1920. Wow. And you're still working? No, not really. I'm working now, of course. I work it up. You know. I always do something. Never stop. That's incredible. You don't look... Never stop. 93, definitely. I'm working very, very hard. And you worked here from 1958 onwards? Yeah. What did you used to do here? A chef. In the kitchen here? In the kitchen. This was before, your kitchen? Before, the, I worked with uh, some kind of my relation. 11 years, chef. I've done it five years in the army, it's a chef. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry, I don't have the book, I've been done everything, because... Uh, Your recipe book? But, yeah, yeah, but, you know, unfortunately, I never, I never thought about this, you know, when you're young, you never think, whatever. You know. My mum and dad first started this book, it's, it's in 1956. Okay. It was just this one room here, and then 1956, 1958, sorry, it's 56 years we've been here, 1958, and it was just this one room, and they ran it as a typical Italian English cafe throughout the 60s. My brother and I lived here, we grew up here, we went to school in Kentish Town, and then in Kentish Town, Ke Kentish Town later, first of all in Primrose Hill. We went to Primrose Hill, Princess Road, before it became middle class <laughs> in the 19, early 1960s. And then we went to Kentish Town, and then we came into the family business. And at roughly the same time in the early 70s, we were able to acquire the premises next door, which meant we had this room, that room, and a backyard. Oh. And then in the late 70s, we covered over the backyard. We made a proper restaurant all the way through, looking exactly the same. And then we had proper toilets and stuff, and we were able to get a license, and we run it as a typical family Italian old-fashioned trattoria since 1978. Thank you very much. And now we're selling up, we're going up. We're, we're relaxing we now. <laughs> we're going to retire, do nothing. <laughs> um, what's your name? My name is Franco. Okay, and your father's name? My father's name is Paolo, and then wow. my brother was popped out for a minute. His name is Luciano. Brilliant. Um, with your kind permission, will you allow me to compile all the photos and videos I've taken and put it on my YouTube channel? Please? Yeah, of course you can. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. God bless you. Well. Okay. And I've been in Trattoria since 1973. In this place in 73? Wow. I've been him all my life, all my things we were doing. I was able to you know, put a good deposit down for my first house. By the business by working in Trattoria Luca. That was in 73, the 80s, 90s. Unfortunately, various situations have happened which um, make them less prof make less profitable to carry on. So we've got to, got to stop. And we are in the mid 60s, so it's nice to stop at that time. What was your. So you worked here literally every day? Yeah, um, priorities obviously and days off and that sort of thing. But, uh, but it was your your baby, this this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my very mother and father's baby. They're the ones who made the business. Okay. I just carried on after them. What was your father's name? My father's name is Paolo. Paolo, and your mother's name? Virginia. Okay, and 
Your father is 93 and he's still... He's 93 to cook it. To cooking around. Can hear, well, obviously you can't hear, but he's still in the kitchen cooking food for still us. Still doing it. Because Italians love their food now. That's excellent. Uh, that's, important, that's important for us. Thank you very much. Um, I wish you luck with what you do in your retirement. Uh, For two weeks, a little three weeks, I was pet lunch, lunch, uh, dinner, uh, uh, lunch time in the evening. Excellent. Yeah. Now, as I like it, it would be some stuff. There's somebody coming to that today. This guy's from the from the tax office. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. He looks young now. I'll show you something scary. 